So let's go back to our HTML. Now the next thing we're going to do is put some locations on the map. So I'm going to have an area called uh, div and I'm going to use this as the location section. Inside the location section I'm going to have some more divs and I'm going to give these a class I'm going to give each one of these a class and an ID. So this will represent one location. I'm going to give this thing a, a class of place. So there'll be lots of places. And I'm going to give this first one called a place number one. We'll add some more classes later to categorize the different kinds of places. But for starters, this will work. Inside each of these places, I'm going to put a location pin and a short description. So I'm going to have an image. I'm going to have an image tag. And then I'm going to have a small paragraph. Let's go to images at Google and we'll search for a map pin. I want to make sure that I'm not stealing things. So I'm going to do labeled for non-commercial use as one of my options. And I'll take this first one, which as you can see from the URL, it is coming from Wikipedia. So let's view this image. Now, here we have a map pin that is enormous. So more than larger than we need, but it'll work. Notice it has a ping extension, PNG, so this will work perfectly. I'm going to copy this. Okay, so now I have the image in my clipboard of what I want to use, let's put it into our HTML code. So I'm going to say image src equals and then quotations and I'm going to paste in the text for my tag. Also I'm going to put in here I'm going to put in here some uh, placeholder text. This is the description of a place. And I see there is an error in my code ID equals place one. Let's save this. Refresh the page. And you can see that I have my large tack. And at the bottom, there is the description of a place. Obviously, we need some formatting to make this work right. So now let's go back into the formatting for our map. This time, I'm going to say Let's go and do formatting for all things that are in a place. First of all, I want to, to format the images that are inside a place class. Let's do image, let's do width as, um, let's say, 20 pixels and see what that looks like. So now we have the image size down to 20 pixels. For the place items themselves, Let's have those all positioned as absolute. That way they can be put in the map on a specific x and y coordinate. Now each one of these items is going to have its own place. So the ID for each place will be different. This is called place 1. So let's do a pound sign place 1. And for this particular place, let's do a left and a top location. So that's kind of the x and y coordinates. So let's try for the left side, let's try 50 pixels. And for the top, let's go 30 pixels from the top. And let's go look at our map. So you can see we have a pin up here and we have the text of our location right here. It's hard to see. So we need a little bit more HTML or CSS we should say. So for all places, let's say let's do the background color to be let's say white and let's see what happens again so now we can see it better it's getting closer to what we want let's do a little bit of padding and let's say uh, five pixels around the edges let's refresh the page and so now you can see it has a small margin it'd be kind of nice to make this a little bit less wide so let's say the width is going to be fixed at 150 pixels what does that look like Let's say for the font size, let's go with 8 pixels for a height. And let's load it up again. And so now we have a very small text. And so we could actually make this 
box about uh, let's say 90 pixels and for our image let's bring that down a bit to about 15 pixels so now we have a box that's going to fit on our map fairly well we could probably fit uh, I don't know six or seven of these one more thing that would look good is if we did a border radius and let's call that three pixels so now we have slight rounded edges one more thing that looks different is if we were to take this map pin and have the text wrap around it, that would be better. So let's go into our image tag and let's tell it to float this. And we will float it to the left. And now when we refresh the page, you can see that the text floats and so it doesn't, um, doesn't waste so much space. Okay, so now we have a model to start with. So one way we could do this is we could, uh, we could copy a div for a place and uh, let's paste a few of them on here so let's put in one two three more and we'll save the changes now into, into our CSS we have the uh, place already defined and the place and its options but what we can do is for each one of these locations we can customize the ID so this is going to be place two and then this is place three and place four save it again so now in CSS, we can just simply copy place one, and we will paste a few of these in here. So we got one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now we're, we're going to randomly put some things on the screen. So I'm just going to change the pixels here to be uh, 100 further over. Let's try 200 over and 300 over. Let's see where those go. So let's save them all and we'll refresh and you can see I have locations on the screen. So now your goal in this part is to customize your map to show the locations of your classes and favorite places on the map. Remember the original assignment that I showed you. We're going to have classes like well where your classes are located. We'll show your math class, your science class, your anatomy class and maybe others. Recreation places, so this is my homeroom location, the recreation center, and the other category was called the secrets of mine. And so we have a parking meter that always showed 11 minutes, and then over on this side, we in the forest, I put Grandmother Willow. Now, in your case, you're going to have different categories as well. So let's come up with at least three categories, and we will put these map indicators over top of them. So let's, let's come up with about 10 locations and put them into maybe three categories. And so let's go with the same idea. Let's go with recreation, my classes, and then secrets that I know on the campus. So this process will take some trial and error. I'm going to put the uh, notepad side by side with my browser and then go ahead and modify these things. So let's say I want to target the tennis court. Let's do that as place number one. So it looks to me like uh, we were at 350 to get here. So let's change the X value, the left value, to 350. Save the changes and refresh. And there we have it. So my description of place one is I'm going to say that this is the tennis court. So I'll go in and change the text in my HTML where I play after school. So let's save that and refresh the page and you can see a description of the tennis courts. Let's say place number two. This is going to be my math class. My math class is located in this building over here so I want to go down to maybe about, let's see, this was 250 pixels. So if I go down to 250 that should be about right. 